Like, where do you shop? Because okay, so Whole Foods. Whole Foods. I mean, we go to else? Tom Thumb. Um, you uh, I'm like sorry, C- Central Market. Central Market. So Central, Central Market. Market I like a lot. It's a. It's a. It's probably my favorite one. Yeah. Um, it has such a wide their selection. selection is crazy. Uh, and they're. I mean, you can just their their stuff is. It just. I mean, I don't know. To me, it looks the best. Um, it looks the best. And they have a the, great selection of mushrooms. Yes. Uh, and then I've recently started going to farmers market because of this juice fast. So local um, farmers markets are always amazing. Asian food mar- markets, yeah. Even though Steve was just talking about their produce, so I don't know. But yeah. like, you could get a lot of tropical foods from there. You yeah, get a lot of. But listen, listen. There's gonna be chemicals on your food. There's okay? going, there's going to be. That's why we have to wash it. I mean, there's, there's, you know? there's right. But at least you, we have to do our best. Just because we know that there's going to be stuff on it, it doesn't mean that we should just go eat a a, a processed food, right? Like it, that doesn't mean if you eat something frozen that it's not going to have chemicals on it. It's, it's, maybe that's more, right? So we just have. But even with that being said, even that's our produce. That's supposed to be our healthy food. So then, if they if, if they're doing that to our healthy food, what do you think is in Takis? What do you think are in Doritos? Oh what do you think are in Little Debbie? Like I mean, it is literally poison it's trash it's 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 a slow acting poison y'all gotta know that and i don't and i don't say that because like i'm trying to like scare anybody but yeah i am trying to scare you like you know and i'm not one of those people that are like you gotta eat this way yet no just just you got but we have to start if you're listening to this like you know where it's at like you have to make changes and moderation for the most part 99 percent right we've used that 99 again 99 percent of people are not going to be successful using moderation. You may be saying, oh, man, I'll be able to do it. No, you won't, right? Because there's so many factors that are involved. The foods are addictive, your childhood emotions, the way that you cope, right? All those things happen and play a factor into what you eat before you even put food in your mouth. So 99% of us are not going to be successful with being uh, or eating those foods in moderation. It is going to come from a long-term Diet and lifestyle change. So, and one of the best places to start is with a a uh, a cleansing, right? Yeah. Because you have there, you're you you are tied to the chemicals that you've eaten. That so is where so it, that's where the it. saying "you are what you eat" comes from. That's one of the sayings that they said that they said that I believe is true. You are what one you of the rare eat. Ones. We just didn't understand what that meant. So, since you are physically bound to the chemicals that you have eaten, it's important to start this change with a good, clean detox, something intentional. And this is why we've developed the R72 challenge, the the 21 day fasting challenge, as well as the, the, the 40 day class and um, the, the, the Academy and the fasting system and, and let's get animated. The, the new course that we just talked about. That's why we do all of this stuff is so, cause it sounds extreme to go from one to the other. Oh man. It is extreme. If you try to go from eating to like, fruitarian or something a raw vegan you're gonna be like bro i can't do this you you need to create a gradient for yourself and what we are going to be doing we've been very intentional about it the last couple of years but we're also learning and growing and we're going to be accelerating how we how we uh essentially support you all but what you need to do is just be very intentional about doing that work along with the changes you want to make right. so that it can become a lifestyle change and not a diet or a fad or a thing you're doing right now to lose 100 pounds, right? It's something that you're going to do, maintain, and then you won't really have to do this work again. Because don't forget, being healthy, you're bo- that's the bottom. That's a baseline human right to be healthy. That's not some super thing and you've just made it and you're just this wonderful human being. Like, no, you're just born that way. You have an amazing body that's designed to keep you that way. The fact that we are not healthy just shows you how far we have fallen. Mm. But don't think that just because now you're 100 pounds lighter or, you know, you did one class or you, com- you, you can communicate better. And you just have this one thing that you've made it. No, these are all things we should already have. Yeah. We have to fight and claw to get back what was given to us naturally. And then from there, that is a plateau. That's a that's a floor that we build from. So uh, it's not just simply about the health and wellness, um, you know, like just reversing disease or something. Right. Um, you, you mentioned in a, you mentioned eating and um, or I'm sorry, fasting and then kind of just moving on. You lost the weight. You moved on. Right. Um I was talking to one of my clients earlier and I was explaining to her that 
fasting is a tool. Okay. It is, it is, it is not the, it's not the end all. It's a tool that you are involved in right now. You are in your training course, right? Where your where your instructors and you're sitting at your desk at home on your phone. And we're saying fasting is your tool. It's like your hammer, right? And that tool is going to help you in order to build something or put something together. That 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 thing that we're trying to build or we're working on building for you is your health. It is your wellness, right? That is the goal. It is your health and your wellness, right? But just like anything else. If you don't maintenance your house, right? If you don't change the if you don't cut the grass every once in a while, if you don't change the, the shutters, if you don't clean the gutters, if you don't put maintenance on your house ever so often or detox it in some way, spring cleaning, your house is going to go to crap, mm-hmm. right? You have to and, and what's the easiest way to keep your house up or maintain it? It's to take care of it on a daily basis. That means if you drop something on the floor in the kitchen, pick it up, right? Instead of waiting for the floor to get so dirty, you're like, man, I can't even see the floor anymore. And that's what we do. We, with our health and our bodies, we wait until we have this crazy signal. We have to go to the doctor to then say, wow, it's really dirty in here, right? So what I, so what I attempt to teach is, no, when you drop something in your kitchen or your body, aka, follow me, then you just take the broom out, whoop, dust it up real quick, and you, and you throw it away and it stays clean. But if you are constantly drinking, if you're constantly, you know, eating bad, if you're constantly, you know, uh, smoking cigarettes, right, all these different things, right, and you're you're going to get so far away, you're not even going to realize you can't see your floor and the trash will now become your floor. Mm. You don't even realize that there's a floor underneath of it anymore, yep. right? Be- like walking into your kid's room and you're like, this room is so dirty. And then they clean it up just enough. And then you walk in and you're like, wow, I forgot you even had a floor. Mm-hmm. It's the exact same thing. So the tool, the hammer is not going to clean your floors, right? The hammer is going to help you maintenance, right? But cleaning your floor, wiping the counters, right, uh, cleaning the windows, this is getting up and having a smoothie in the morning, making a juice every day, making sure that you're eating two, you know, uh, at least one healthy meal, making sure you're not eating before 12 o'clock. All of these little habits are going to be your 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 daily things to keep your house clean. Mm. So all of those things are going to be important because you can lose 100 pounds. And let me tell you, you can gain it back. I, you can gain it back and you'll gain it even faster. I just did a talk on why I don't we don't I'm not going to go into it. We'll talk about it in R72, um, but you'll gain it back. And it's for a reason. It's 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 going to happen. So. Um, what we what we we're, we're teaching and what we teach in the R72 specifically is, of course, we want to give you that tool. We want you to follow and lose weight, right? It is a weight loss program. And then on top of that, what we're also doing is we're teaching you how to eat. We're teaching you the tools that you're going to need in the future. You may not realize you need them, right? But you do. Yeah. And 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 that comes from experience because I was the one where I was like, yeah, bro, I just lose these pounds and I'll be good. Like my, my body will just stay the same weight. No, it doesn't the, work that way. That's the beauty of having guidance in some capacity. You know what I'm saying? Like, even when you're a child, you have guidance, right? You have your, your, your parent, your guardian, yeah. your teacher, somebody to be like, listen, I know in your, in your mind, by your perspective, what you're doing is okay, or it's going to work mm-hmm. out. Here are some things to potentially uh, be concerned about or prepare for. Right? right. And, and so it's, it's, it's kind of like that, that guidance that you get from a mentor um, that we we understand is very beneficial. But then sometimes like we don't even seek those mentors. It's like we all know that that's a beneficial thing. Our, our, our history and our past has shown us that that someone who knows knows the road that you want to travel. It's like, yo, how do I get to X, Y, Z? Oh, yeah, I've been there. Just do this. Turn left at that. Blah, blah, blah. It's so much easier when someone can give you a roadmap. Hi, Chris James here. I hope you enjoyed that clip. And if you did, don't forget to check out the full length video available on our playlist called Inspiring Interactions. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and make sure to join our free membership at ahacommunities.com.